Uh, last one for the Pac-12 South is the Utah Utes. And Kyle Whittingham. This is another just, team where. Just does what he does, man. It's just all blue. Yeah. Like, I, I, I put a bunch of them as well, a bunch of toss-ups. But, I <laughs> oh, blue. I, I mean, their, their win total is eight and a half, yeah. right? I like this team more than than pretty much anybody in this conference or in this division other than Arizona State, right? Like, at USC, I don't know that they were going to lose to UCLA. I think me and you have different losses for them, but Probably. I still expect nine and three. Probably. But I, I think Utah, with Charlie Brewer at quarterback, can can do some real damage here. Um, again, win total is eight and a half. To go over is minus 140. To go under is plus 110. The SP plus projected record is nine and three. The FPI is seven and five. Um, they are plus 450 to win the division, plus 1200 to win the conference. And, you know, I mean, the 34th in returning production, 83%. Like they bring a bunch back. Uh, Charlie Brewer coming in, Oklahoma running back TJ Pledger. Defense is going to lean on experience this season. I mean, they finished number one with a with a young team last year. They were number one in Havoc rate. And that's mostly freshmen and sophomores last year. Now you got 12 players returning with 100-plus snaps played when they only played, you know, five games last year. Yeah. Like, that's pretty damn good. Like, I, I agree I, with that. I expect big things out of Whittingham and them this bunch. Or this year, I'm, I'm going over the 8.5 at minus 140. So I'm going to go under. You're going under. I'm going to go under. A lot of coin flip games, huh? Yeah, I think they got a lot of coin flip games, and and just assume I'm going to chalk all those up to wins. Listen, I was a huge defender of Charlie Brewer for a long time at Baylor. It it didn't go well last year. It's been a while since he made a big play to actually help his team. You, I think you're right. I I don't think Charlie is a difference maker. I think Charlie is a game manager. Charlie won't lose you a game. Charlie won't win you a game though either. Um. I think if USC takes that step up with the athletes that they're going to have and the skill talent they're going to have, if UCLA takes that step up, if Arizona State takes that step up, at some point in time, Charlie Brewer is going to have to make plays. They can't just rely on the defense every week because college football is getting away from that. Yeah, you might be right about that. It's my only It's my only logic. I, I just think the game is going to where – if one team is a defensive team, and I've grown up my entire life loving and trusting defense, and the other team's an offensive team, and I'm sitting on coin flips, I'm probably giving a slight edge in all those coin flips to the team with the better offense because that's where the game's going. You probably got a point there. You probably all got a point. All the rules benefit that. And, you, and, are, and, you are making me second guess myself And we're getting here. to be big, big playmakers. Now, don't because I haven't always been good at this, um, but it's just one of those things where that's – it's just my opinion, and that's my logic. I need football. Co- football has become a, a sport of playmakers. Yes. It's no longer grind it out and win. You can do that, okay? Our boys at Northwestern. Yeah. We love them. They're not winning any big games against other teams with playmakers. They win against Iowa and Wisconsin. Yeah, and, and if, if you got other Chip teams Kelly. just like you, yeah, they're better than them at all of those things sometimes. But it's the issue is it, if you were in a division with USC and Arizona State with a stud quarterback with, with you, and UCLA, great and, quarterback play, yeah. and I'm not talking about consistency. I'm talking about taking the top off the defense, gashing you for big runs. There's there's no you know. Tortoise in the hair. There's no tortoises keeping up with that. Yeah. Not in today's game. Okay. Okay. I can get down with that. I can get down with you it. You might be right. Uh yeah, I'm I going might, over I'm wrong. going over eight and a half. You're going under eight and a half. But that's gotta said, differ sometimes. You are correct. So thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.